Hearn, the AI Hunter script. Today I'm going to show you guys a new script that's been worked on for the past couple of weeks and was developed by my good friend Rightagear. This script can be found on Bohemia Interactive Forums and under the Arma 3 Mission Editing and Scripting section. I will link this forum thread in the description of the video so that way you guys can have direct access to it and use it as your reference. So what is the Hearn AI Hunter script? There is two codes in this script. The first code was taken from a video that I demonstrated of this first code. This code, what this does is it enables the AI to hunt the player from any distance, be it far away or close. So the AI knows where the player is at and will move to the general area of where the player is at. They don't know his exact position of where he's at. They have a rough idea of where he's at. So until the player either shows himself or shoots at the enemy AI, then the AI will basically just hang around and search for the player in the vicinity of where the player is at. Now the second part of the code was taken from a mission that I built back in 2019. This mission is called the Desert Ops Run Tactical Arena. Code that was taken from my scenario here is a Hunter AI uh, code that uh, enables the AI to enter buildings and clear out the player no matter where they're at in the building. So they'll climb the stairs, they'll search from room to room and seek out the player. These two codes were uh, developed into one code and working together to perform a couple of functions. So this script is not going to enhance the AI's function or abilities to perform CQB in, in some manner. Its main function first is to move to the position of the player. They will move, pursue, and search for the player in an area that they know where the player is at. Then the second function of the script is to basically enter any building if the player is in a building and clear the player out from the building. As for the rest of the information on the release thread here, a demo mission that you can download to get the script, it's set on Stratus. In the rest of the thread here, I show you how to use the script in the scenario. So basically what you need in your scenarios is an INIT server.sqf or an INIT.sqf uh, script put into your mission folder along with the Hearn script. Both are in the demo mission, so you can pretty much just take those two scripts and put them into your own mission. Let's go in game and I'll show you guys how to use this script. You should have now the Hearn demo mission and when you open it up, it'll say RYD Hearn demo dot Stratus. So if we open up the mission folder, we have the Hearn script and we have an INIT server.sqf with the code inside. I'm going to build a mission and move these two scripts inside and we're going to basically, I'm going to show you how to set this up in the editor. Okay, we are on the main menu of Arma 3. Let's go to the editor and we're going to go to Altus. And then we're going to go to the map and we're going to go to Oreo Kastra. This is going to be the town that we're going to use to set up our demonstration mission. Place down a player first and I'm running two different mods. I'm running uh, RHS and Web Knights Zombies. We're going to place down a soldier. And this guy's going to be a machine gunner. We're going to place down a machine gunner. And we're going to put this guy in this house and that's all we need to do with the player I'm going to put down some zombies so we're going to go to O4 and then we're going to go down to web knights zombies and we're going to pick FIA zombies so we're going to put down some shamblers and we're going to make a group so basically you can have one AI do something and there's a way to do that uh, this one I'm going to show you how to set up groups so we're going to take this guy and just copy him several times and then we're going to take a walker 
copy him a few times. And then we're gonna have Sprinter Dude. We'll see. And we'll just put this guy in charge. You always wanna have a squad leader. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna highlight all these guys. And we're gonna right click one of them. And we're gonna go group them all. You should see the lines coming off on my mouse cursor and I connect it to this one guy. So this is a group. This is the squad leader. So what you're going to do is we're going to name this squad. This Hearn script, what you want to do is you want to go to the you want to go to the entities browser, which is this, the left panel, and you want to click on the group icon so that all these guys are highlighted. Then you want to double click or right click. We'll just double click. And at the top, it'll, it'll say edit composition 17 objects. Object is units. Go to the variable name box and you're going to give these guys a name. So every group you create, you're going to give them a name. So we're going to name these guys Zom1, Zom for short for zombie. And that's all you have to do is name them. Just hit OK and that's one group. We're going to highlight these guys, press Control C. And we're going to put these guys right over here. This will be our second group. And we're going to edit this group's name. And we're going to just give this a 2. And then we're going to go over here. Paste the group over here. And we're going to name this ZOM3. And then we're going to go over here. Paste them again. And then we're going to name this guy ZOM4. That's going to be our mission. What we're going to do now is just going to save it. This is going to be on Altus. And we're going to name this zombie underscore hunter. Now that's saved. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the scenario at the top left. And then you're going to go down to open scenario folder. Now that we have our mission folder open, which is named zombiehunter.altis, this is the mission SQM. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up the Hearn demo mission. And what you're going to do is you're going to take these two scripts and press control C. And you're going to go back to your mission and press control V. And now you should have two scripts in your mission folder. So you don't need to worry about the Hearn script. It'll do its own thing. And then for the INIT server.sqf, open this with Notepad or Notepad++. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to this bottom line here. And in between these two brackets, you're going to put the names of the groups from your mission. So in our case, uh, we have four groups. We're going to name this ZOM1, comma. Zom two comma Zom three comma and Zom four but no comma at the end and that's it. We're just gonna press save and you can close it back in the mission. Let's play the mission. Once you get in your mission, just hit escape and go to spectator and then let's see what these guys do. So it's gonna take like less than a minute before the information gets cycled to where these guys know roughly where you're at and that's kind of what's occurring that's why nothing's really happening at the moment so once it starts happening they start moving and obviously they don't we didn't give them any waypoints so they're moving on their own so you can kind of see what they're doing they're all basically playing follow the leader. Yeah, a little slow, but. It's 
So you can see they're headed to my position. They got some runners in there. Let's speed this up a little bit. So we sped this up a little bit and you can kind of see it looks like ants. <laughs> All right, let's go back to spectator. See, they got a rough idea where I'm at, but they don't know where I'm at. This is going to be a mess. Jesus. <laughs> oh boy, this is. <laughs> yeah, they're still coming. You get the idea that they know where I'm at. But they don't know where I'm at exactly. I don't have gone upstairs yet. Alright. This is going to be interesting. where I was. I say, well, he's not here. Here comes one guy. So, that's... the little configuration and tutorial if you have any questions you could ask on the official release thread and myself or writer gear will answer your questions for more codes and scripts take a look at this playlist <laughs> <laughs>